G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. Firstly, before we get into this video, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you that has jumped over and subscribed to the channel. You know, my NRL videos are actually gaining so much traction now and I can't thank you enough. Um, if you came from TikTok, thank you. If you aren't on my TikTok, uh, you know, aren't following my TikTok, guys, please jump over and do that as well. But uh, yeah, today we're talking about the Broncos. So, you know, I've covered a few things this year, a few big stories, and the next one is, are the Broncos finals, oh, I wouldn't say premiership contenders, but, you know, is their premiership window starting to open? I think the short answer is no. I, uh, it's hard to say because the Broncos, for me, are one of the most inconsistent teams in the competition. Now, they started the year with two good wins. They got up against, uh, you know, last year's runners-up, My Rabbitohs. They won that one 11-4 at Suncorp. They then went uh, to play the Bulldogs, I believe that was in Sydney. They won that one 16-10. Uh, then they go out to... They go back home, they play the Cowboys at home. You know, a lot of people expect them to win that game. They lose at 38 to 12. Now, the Cowboys are an amazing football team this year. They've turned it around, and I think Todd Payton's got to be in the running for Coach of the Year. But that's that's a video for another day, and uh, hopefully we might see that video coming out this weekend if the Cowboys play well. I definitely do want to talk about the Cowboys a bit this year, but... For today, we are talking about the Broncos. Now, uh, we'll talk a bit more about their, their season. So, round four, they lost to the Warriors in Redcliffe. Look, at the end of the day, I, I thought that game would have gone either way. I thought it would be a lot closer, but the Broncos lost that one 20-6. Uh, then they go home again and play the Roosters. Credit to the Broncos in this game. They actually played really good football. They did go down 24-20. to it was a very close game and it went right to the end. Um, so, yeah, look, did that one, you can't beat them up too much for that. They had two pretty decent losses the, the two weeks prior to that, as I've just spoken on. Uh, but the loss to the Roosters, you know, there's a lot, a lot of good they took from that. And against the Panthers, the next week they started that game very well. Unfortunately, they just... They couldn't keep the momentum going, and the Panthers ran away with that one, 40 points to 12. Uh, then last week, they took the, uh, I guess, the first, uh, the second half against the Panthers, and they carried that over to the Bulldogs, where the Bulldogs looked pretty good in that first half, but the Broncos just came back and ran away with it in the second half. And then they took that momentum and fought, carried that over to last, well, yeah, last night's game. I was going to say I'm uploading this on Saturday. No, this will go up tonight. So, <laughs> so they took that momentum and beat Cronulla at home. Good win at Suncorp uh, for the Broncos. Very good win. But uh, yeah, like a lot of people are saying, are the Broncos. Oh look, <laughs> there's not a lot of people saying this, but there are some, and I think most of them are Broncos fans. But do the are the Broncos a chance at the Premiership this year? To, to me, there's no way. No way. Now, I had the Broncos 10th this year, and I still think they'll, they'll, they'll probably finish outside the top eight. Now, I could be completely wrong, and my Rabbitohs might finish outside the top eight. It's, it's one of the closest seasons that we've seen in a long time. The start of this year is crazy close. I think statistically, it is one of the closest seasons we've, we've had so far. Uh, the, the Broncos definitely... They they could finish in the top eight, but I don't think they're contenders. I don't I don't think that at all. Personally, I don't think there's any team in the NRL that you could consider contenders other than probably the Panthers, Storm, and possibly the Eels. That's that's my three at the moment that I think are the contenders. Anyone else at this point is are pretenders. That's coming from a Rabbitohs fan. So look, I just I don't know. I don't. I don't see the Broncos getting close to the grand final. If they do make the eight, I think it'll be a first round exit for them in the finals. But uh, yeah, kudos to them for a good game last night. 
I uh, I actually worked early this morning, so I couldn't catch the whole game, but I did watch a uh, full match replay today. Shout out to KO for supplying that. Um, yeah, it was a it was a good game, good game of football. You know, not too many errors, which is always good. Just uh, doing some little notes down there. <laughs> uh, the Broncos completed at 77%, so not bad. Uh, obviously, you know, you, you want to get around that 80% mark. Like anything lower than that, I, I class as, uh, as disappointing. But uh, yeah, look, the Broncos, they played pretty well. Sharkies didn't play too bad either. If we look at stats, like, I mean, you're probably going to say Tony Staggs gets man of the match. He had a pretty good game up against Sios Fatelikai. 120 meters, uh, six tackle breaks, a line break. He had an offload, 18 tackles. Like, that's insanely good. Uh, scored a try as well. So, uh, good stuff there for Staggs. And then, you know, you look at the other side. Talakai actually, like, a lot of people are saying that uh, Katoni owned him. Look, I, I, don't, I don't think it's anywhere near that. Realistically, Siosa Fatalico had, had a pretty good game as well. Like 164 metres, five tackle breaks, one line break, one offload, 12 less tackles than Staggs. But, you know, at the same time, like both players had good games on each side. It was just that uh, Katoni Staggs did something that uh, Talakai couldn't last night, and that was win. So, uh, yeah. Look, at the end of the day, the Broncos Broncos were definitely the better team. And if they can continue this, then this is the this is where it becomes an issue for me. And I'm sorry, I've gone I'm talking for seven minutes here. So I'll try and wrap this up pretty shortly. But I think it becomes an issue now because the Broncos get on these little win streaks. We saw it at the start of the year when they started the year 2-0. And then they just go on a losing streak. They're just so inconsistent. They have a good game. They back it up with a, a pretty uh, pretty crappy game. Like, they played so well against the Rabbitohs in round one. They came out. They played. A li- it, it was a little bit disappointing against the Bulldogs. They got blown out 38-12. to 12. Um, Played pretty good against the Roosters. Came out again, blown out by the Panthers. Albeit, they played very well in that first half against the Panthers. They... They still got absolutely flogged in the second. So I just don't know. The, the inconsistency is where I th- I think the Broncos are going to find a bit of an issue this year. Um, look, Broncos fans have been hurting for a couple of years. And, you know, a lot of people, a lot of fans have to go through it. But, look, I, I do think finals football isn't far for the Broncos. I just don't know if it's going to be this year. If they can fix those consistency issues, I don't see why they couldn't be a top eight team. I don't see anybody contending for the Premiership other than those three teams, more than likely Panthers and Storm. But if it, if something happens and maybe, I don't know, Panthers are first, Storm are fourth, Panthers and Storm playing the first round, I don't know. Anything can happen, you know, teams can get knocked out in the finals. You know, no. Look at what happened last year. Everybody was saying Panthers and Storm grand final. It didn't pan out that way because... Because of how teams met in the in the final, so I definitely think it'll be a Panthers and Storm Grand Final this year, all going well, and I, I just can't see any team matching them, other than possibly the Eels. The Eels are a bit surprising, but uh, I'm going to talk about other teams later on this year. Look, I'm I'm going to probably have some screen time about nearly every team this year, but. Tonight was the Broncos, and the Broncos just played very well against a good Cronulla Sharks team. So, yeah, both teams had players out. So, you know, I know there's people out there saying the Sharks were missing Dale Finucane. Broncos had players out as well. So you can't, like, you can't make excuses for one if you're not going to accept, you know, that the Broncos had players out as well. So, but that's that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about a good Broncos win. Shout out to the Broncos. Shout out to the Broncos fan base. Man, you guys are as loyal as hell. Um, 
Yeah, and you're not bandwagon, so I commend you for that one, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up from me today, though, guys. Uh, look, if there is any NRL content you guys want to see me make, drop it down in the comments below, guys. I'm happy to do anything. Tier list, ranking videos. Uh, what else is there? Sporkle quizzes. Uh, whatever. Let me know, guys. I'm happy to do that. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Ados the Great. I do a lot of my personal stuff on there. I've got a Twitter account, Ados the Great, as well. I also have a Facebook page called Ados the Great. I don't post on there as much as I'd like to, but I do post uh, power rankings. So if you guys want to check them out, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.